as I have indicated yesterday, I am semi-retiring. And um, I will not be as active as I have been before. It's not any health problem or anything like that, it's just I am 73 years and it's taking its toll of a hard living before. My legs are not what they used to be. Hopefully my brain is still here. And um, I've been asked, why do, do I leave Israel and go back to Sweden? For some reasons, I had a very, very good offer that I couldn't say no to. In my old working place now, placed in Stockholm, doing research, cornea, lasers, and cataract surgery for a group. And uh, also, I wanted to be closer to my children, and particularly with my grandchild. So I look back at the years and started in Geneva in 2009. It was very complicated at that time. We couldn't talk, we had uh, technicians there. And uh, here are some of us. That year, also, Mr. Universe, it looked like that. Is this the Jim Wilson play? Young class. Red Bull entered Formula One with very, and were very, very successful for many years. We had the European elections that year. And the design of the year was this chair. We talked about mix this year. Mix, sub two millimeter incision. Today the average mix incision is 1.7 and the lower limit was at that time said to be 0.7. But there are no lenses available to do a 0.7 and I believe today we are, most of us, doing 2.2 or 2 millimeter incisions. We were looking at the peer-reviewed literature and was this idea we make so good? So I uh, the peer-reviewed literature stated that the rate of increasing of incidence of PCO related to small incision IOLs and that the rate is four times compared to standard IOLs and to multifocal IOLs the rate was three times higher even when the lens material was the same. So maybe PCO is not a big problem for monofocus, but if we have PCO for multifocus, it causes havoc, as you all know. 2010, we were again in Geneva. I grew in weight. We looked younger at that time. It was the first time we had a visit from Argentina, from our friend. The World Cup in football was in South, South Africa. And the film of the year was The Expandables with Stallone. We saw a ballet of politicians dancing and Microsoft Office home and student 
<laughs> oh, sorry. In 2010, South Africa, Spray Champion. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I know. That was the time, beautiful time of España. Viva España. We talked this year about cross-linking keratoconus and imitation patients. Talked about the corner lactasia is one in one thousand. And it was typically arriving one to two months after surgery. Keratoconus prevalence fifty to two hundred per, per one hundred thousand. The variation is due to different diagnostic criteria. We talked about wet and dry topography that year. And we showed the difference between wet topography that's just off the blink and a topography of the 15 seconds. And you can actually see the difference here we did not see it here, we saw a tendency here, but here it was very clear that this was a keratoconus case. This is not the Agra, it's the cross-linking, a very famous slide from that year, remember it? And the effect that, I was on my way to say, the Agra had on keratoconusia, of the treatment was very, very good. And the cross-linking is minimally invasive, as you all know, and I know a lot of people today use it. It's an in inexpensive and easy to handle, and the safety issue is still a problem. 400 microns cornea thickness is still valid. During all these three years, because the next year we were also in Geneva, we had the most fantastic fireworks you can ever imagine. Out on Lake Geneva or Lac Le Mans. Here, the group expanded. Sudi so had a, about the same amount of hair as he has now. <laughs> We talked a lot about intermediate vision. Car of the year, the Bentley. Fashion at that year was very nice. The pictures of the year were these two. What's the guy doing? Oh, they're watching me. I don't want to play with that ball. Who cares? <laughs> We talked of the importance of monitoring IOP after refractive surgery. And the background, of course, is that the Goldman Applamation telemeter, and here I must make a break. It, 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 I get hot, but we're using an instrument from 1954 as the golden rule to measure IOP. And we have all these sophisticated instruments today, and we're still using this. And this is not a valid instrument anymore. It's meant for a 520 thick cornea, and the cornea radius is 45. That is the ideal patient that Professor Goldman at that time built his instrument on. Anything outside that gives you a false value, as I will show you in a minute. So Goldman Applanation Tonometry is likely to underestimate the IOP with thin corneas and overestimate the IOP on eyes with thick, more rigid corneas.
An important sentence that I formed that year was, glaucoma is linked to refractive surgery, as well as refractive surgery is linked to glaucoma. Central corneal thickness, IOP and topical anesthetics. We use these things. And look what happened to my cornea. That is, on the right side, epithelial thickness without anesthesia, 30 microns thick. After anesthesia, it almost doubled. In 2012, yeah. oh, was it too quick? No, no. These three years, uh, you, you didn't mention, we, are, we were very in advance uh, about not only press mania, but we send, uh, it was a webinar. Oh, yes. At the webinar, we send all the conference all around the world. And uh, the first year, we have something like 20, 50 eats for not too long. And second year and the third year, and we, the idea was to send the conference to have just a little people like today and to send all by, by the, the Wi-Fi and stuff like this. And suddenly Sonia say, no, it's not a good idea. We have to travel a lot and go in the world. <laughs> and that was the starting of Moscow. So we went to Moscow. There again, some of you recognize yourselves. The Eurovision Song Contest of that year. This is a trial for you. Who won the Song Contest? There you see the impact. You have forgotten it. We had soccer again in Europe, the European Championships in Poland and uh, Ukraine. And I think you did. Uh, Spain win that as well. Yeah, they did. The design of the year again, a nice chair. And the picture to your right is a very famous thing in Sweden. It's a triathlon where you have to swim in a river up north. And I tell you, it's very cold in the water. <laughs> We talked about complications in refractive surgery, overcorrection, irregular astigmatism. And we started to give the lectures of ocular surface syndrome. We talked about clear, difficulty with night driving, and corneal haze. You recognize what we're talking about today? We haven't solved the problems. Also, that year we came out with this picture from Alicante and it shows the tear film, the tear prism, and I believe I showed it yesterday. Dry eye post refractive surgery. More or less all patients after refractive surgery do have dry eyes. There's no question about it. And The causes, flattening of central area, will disrupt the tear film. Disruption of the lipid fluid dynamics. The lipid layer is thinner in LASIK patients, and similar changes appear with keratoconus. This, of course, have an impact on visual function. The corneal surface irregularity can degrade quality of vision. And tear film breakup between links leads to optical aberrations, as you all know. Why loss of neurotrophic effects, damage of goblet cells, and altered corneal shape are the reasons. In 2013, we went to my own hometown, Landskrona. That was also a, a closed meeting. 
The meeting in Moscow was open. This was a closed meeting like this one. Lance Krona had celebrated his 600 year birthday. He was always smiling as he is now. And this is the wow. famous. I knew, I knew, both 600 years. Wow, what's going on here? You are very good. <laughs> this is the famous castle in Landskrona, going back to the 15th century. And Landskrona is the middle point of Europe, according to some. The film of Kontiki had a premiere that year. The biggest luxury boat in the world, cruiser, was launched. And we had a lot of champagnes coming. <laughs> and the painting of the air is down on your right. I already that year started to talk about patient selection for presbyopic refractive surgery. And you heard that before, so skip it. 2014, we went to Keiki Meta in Mumbai. And one of the hosts, his sons, in I advance. We had the Sai Awards. We had soccer again from Spain. We had the gay parades all over Europe and a horrendous fire in one of the big hotels in New York. This was the year also I started to talk about a new way to treat coronal edema. That is the hyper-CL, and we have heard it a lot, many times already, so we skip it. And that is the hyper-CL from my own. 2015, we went to this man in Gran Canaria. Yeah, together with the Conference of Euro Canarias. Sorry, Congress of Secor. Segur. Waste management. Not a big uh, progress. Waste management was 4% in 1990 and it decreased to 3% in 2015. Not very good, is it? So we are very clever in destroying the nice world we live in. I did an updated presentation of presbyopic refractive surgery. In San City, we had the next meeting, also an open meeting with the South African Congress. We recognize some of the guys here, and this is one of the hotels in San City. He got an Oscar. He put his foot in deep into it. You know who this guy is? Tiger Woods. Probably one of the best golfers that ever were. And power to the old. Hillary and Obama. This year I devoted to the rescue for Presby, the Presby drop that can be used for more than correcting presbyopia. Higher order aberrations. How do we decrease them? By making this meiosis correct. Increase of depth of focus and decrease of higher order aberrations. Last year we were at Porto. We closed or a semi close meeting. Lovely city. And it was the premiere of the Seven Sisters. 
And one, she's very, very old. The other one is looking like he's getting old. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he would probably die before for her. <laughs> and we had Mr. Trump. <laughs> I started to work with Elgin that year. And you, had, you saw that presentation yesterday. There is a big challenge in robotics. High cost development, and it's a steep learning curve, and above all I think it's patient trust. Oh, are you not going to operate? I don't want these two small operators to operate me. But I do believe that in the future this is the way to go. So by this small resume, I want to thank you all for your patience to have me, to listen to me. I will do some presentations in the future, but I will definitely cut down. Thank you so much. Thank you.